One of the best ways to become familiar with object-oriented programming is to use interesting objects. One of our favorite objects is called a turtle. A turtle is an object that allows the user to draw simple line-based graphics. The turtle class is contained in a module called Sea Turtle. Information on how to download and install the Sea Turtle module can be found in other lessons. In order to use turtle objects, we first have to import the Sea Turtle module. So import, and then the name of the module, C with a capital T, U R T L E. Once we do this import, all of the contents of the Sea Turtle module are now available in the current Python environment. The first thing we need to do is to create a turtle object. In order to create an object, we use what is known as the constructor. The constructor always has the same name as the class. So in this case, the constructor is called turtle. So in this example, what we would like to do is create a turtle object and give it a name. And so as we've done in the past, we will use an assignment statement where the name will be on the left-hand side of the assignment statement and the constructor will be on the right-hand side and the result of performing the assignment statement will be to allow the name to refer to the new object. So, let's decide that our turtle is going to be named Fred. So the assignment statement is going to be Fred is a reference to, and now we have to add the module name to the constructor name. So in the C turtle module, we would like to use the constructor called turtle. And then the last thing we have to add are parentheses. These parentheses are provided because the turtle constructor sometimes needs information. In this case, there are no pieces of information that we have to pass. But if the turtle constructor had information that it needed, it would go inside of this parenthesis pair. So this assignment statement, the identifier on the left-hand side will be the name of the variable. The right-hand side will be a constructor call that will evaluate and produce an object, in this case a turtle object, and the assignment statement will make Fred refer to that object. When I hit return, when I perform this statement, a number of things are going to happen. Most importantly, we are going to see a window appear. This window is what we think of as being the turtle graphics window. And you can see right in the middle of the window is what we refer to as the turtle. It just shows up as a little triangle. The window itself is the world that that turtle lives in. And you could think about that world as just being a graph where the current position of the turtle is right in the middle or if you want to say position 0, 0. And the x-coordinate is going to run horizontally, and the y-coordinates are going to run vertically. And so the position of the turtle can be given by an x-value and a y-value. And like we said, the initial value is going to be right in the center at 0, 0. Now, if we want to give some commands to this turtle, then what we have to do is ask the turtle to perform what are known as methods. The methods that the turtle understands are things that the programmer who wrote the C turtle module installed in the turtle class. And it turns out that there are a number of things we can ask the turtle to do. But most importantly, what we can do is simply move the turtle and ask the turtle to turn, ask the turtle to change its color, and ask the turtle to either draw or not draw a line. The model that the turtle graphics is based upon 
is to think about a real turtle that is walking in the sand. And if the turtle's tail is down, then as it walks, it will leave a line behind in the sand. If the turtle's tail is up, there will be no line as the, ta as the turtle walks forward. And so, it, by default, our turtle has a tail, and its tail is currently down. And so when the turtle moves, it's going to leave a line behind. So the easiest method, the easiest command that we can give to our turtle is to ask it to move forward. So the way we do that is to say Fred, which is the reference to the turtle object, dot, which says now I want to access the object itself, and the first method that we're going to use is simply called forward. Now, the forward method needs an extra piece of information. It needs what's called a parameter. In this case, the parameter is going to be the distance that it should move forward. And so let's just say we want the turtle to move forward 100 units. The turtle is currently facing to the right, and if we tell it to move forward, it's simply going to move in the direction that it's facing. When we hit return, notice that the turtle has now moved, and because its tail is down, it left a line behind, and that line is now 100 units long. Let's go back and look one more time in more detail at this statement. Fred dot forward. What that says is, go to the name Fred, and the dot says to follow the reference and find the object that Fred refers to. Forward is a method that belongs to that particular turtle object, and then in parentheses we supply information that that method might need. And so in this case, we supply the distance, 100 units. Another simple method that turtles understand is to turn left or right. And so we could ask Fred to perform its left method. But when we ask it to turn, we have to tell it how many degrees to turn. So we could say turn left 90 degrees. Notice that when we do that, Fred is now pointing upward. It has turned from pointing to the right to pointing up. It's turned 90 degrees to the left. And we could give a comparable command as we did before. We could say, hey, Fred, move forward 200 units. And, of course, in this case now, Fred is going to move forward in the direction that it was facing twice as far as it moved before. 